Welcome to Living It Country. Today, we get to take a peek inside three beautiful homes and tour them today for the spring 2022 season. And I am so, so excited. So if you're excited and ready for these tours, comment below some heart emojis so I know you're watching and let's go ahead and start today's home tours. Hi, I'm Meg. You can find me on Instagram and YouTube at Ruffles and Overalls. Welcome to my home tour. We recently painted these faux windows and put these magnetic things on our garage to give it a little bit more character and make it look kind of like a carriage house. And this is our front entry. I put this AstroTurf rug down here. Uh, green for spring. We made this wreath on the door out of an old potato sack. And we've got these vintage chairs on the front porch. Just add a lot of character and are super comfortable to sit in. So come on and I will show you inside. This is our front entry. The hallway is pretty narrow uh, into the rest of the house, so I always had a hard time fitting furniture in this room. So I've got this molding up now, and the door is painted this contrasting color to try to just give some more interest to this hallway. And we did this wall as well, just to kind of tie the rooms together. So we just hang our bags and hats here by the door. And this past weekend, I found these uh, vintage lithographs by, by a Courier and Ives. And I put them up here. It's been so nice to have the doors painted gray. <laughs> With so many kids in the house, it's so much easier to keep clean than white doors. And this is our main living space over here. It's technically the formal living room of the house, but we are a family of nine, so we are always needing more seating. So we have changed this into our main living room instead of the smaller room that's off the kitchen. It's got this little nook over here. Um, most of the pieces we have in our house, we find at yard sales, thrift stores, sometimes we get them for free on the side of the road. Um, we just like to be creative and uh, use the things that we find. Um, these rocking chairs came from Facebook Marketplace and they have been the most comfortable rocking chairs I've ever had. They swivel as well. Um, the leather sofa and the Pottery Barn leather chairs are also another online marketplace find. Um, the newest addition to the room is our vinyl floor flat here from Carolina Creek House, which has been amazing to be able to put in this room to brighten it up and to be able to wipe clean. We took this uh, antique vintage um, kitchen table with an enamel top on it and my husband cut the legs off. So now um, it has a wipeable top and it serves as our coffee table. And these shelves over here on this side of the room I have a funny story behind them um, my husband made them um, as custom bookshelves for someone and it was quite a few years ago but they ended up moving recently and when they moved they listed the shelves on Facebook marketplace because they couldn't take them with them and he just happened to be looking online at the marketplace and found them on there and went and bought them back because he always liked them so much. So now they're in our house and I've had fun trying to style them and find little vintage goods to put 
in all the shelf spaces. I also built that ladder over there. In this corner over here, we have an antique mantle and I hung a vintage screen above it. And that's where I've been displaying all of our 1940s Audubon prints of the birds that we find in our backyard. And our dining room is right over here, right off the living room. It's not a very big dining room for nine people, but we love this table. We bought it from my husband's aunt. She bought it from her neighbors at a yard sale like years and years ago. And she let us buy it off of her for $10, which is what she bought it for. It's kind of a funny story. Uh, my husband wired that vintage light as well and framed those uh, prints on the wall. They're canvases. When we got them, they were in a real heavy black frame. And so we took that off and just put this light frame on from tobacco sticks just to kind of give it more of a spring look. And the funny thing about this table here is that if you look underneath it, it actually has a fifth leg in the middle, which is kind of fun. It's on casters as well. So this is where the kids do their homeschool and we eat our meals. Right off the dining room is our kitchen and our kitchen really is a working kitchen. There is always someone in here um, cooking dinner, making lunch or snack, and we're tea drinkers, so making tea, baking. Um, the kids love to be in the kitchen together, so we try to keep things uh, out on the counter as much as possible where they can reach them. And we have our glasses that we use, these milk glass goblets. We do actually use them all the time. They stay out here. Um, basic baking supplies. We used to have a cabinet here, but we had a hard time reaching it because of the peninsula. And uh, we like these open shelves a lot better. My husband built those for us a few years ago. And we have our bread box on the counter because we're always making sourdough. That's my starter there. So there's always something going on. The Berkey water filter is a new addition in the last year or so that we love. I love these pig rails too. There was another cabinet on this side um, after we had the left hand cabinet down for a few years we decided to just go ahead and take down this one as well so we put up that pig rail that I found at a thrift store and this rack here from Magnolia Market holds the teacups and other cups we have lots of vintage in our kitchen and I don't like to just display things. I like them to also have a purpose. So this vintage spice cabinet um, with the drawers holds tea bags. And we use these copper and brass utensils up here. More baking stuff that we use a lot. So off the kitchen on this side is what is originally the family room for the house and we did use it as a family room when we first moved in. But um, as our family has grown, um, we have had to move our home office out of the bedrooms. So this room has really become our home office. Um, we have um, a vintage home decor and handcrafted uh, business where we travel and sell at markets and online. So we are always packaging um, boxes and bringing in inventory and pricing it. It's also where um, the kids spill over when we have people over for dinner um, and sit in this room. 
Um, this big white cabinet here is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I got it online. I believe it was on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. Um, I watched it for so long. Um, they were asking a lot of money for it and they kept lowering the price and I finally got it for $75. I'm super excited because it holds a ton of stuff. It's like having an extra closet. And this piece here is where we keep all our books. Our daughter loves books and volunteers at the library. So she has um, categorized all the books for us on the bookshelf. Um, these are just some vintage paintings here up at the top. Part of our inventory that wouldn't fit anywhere else. So for now, they're on display in the office. And um, we brought this chandelier in from Rich's grandparents' house and put it in our sales office because I love milk glass. We also have some other family heirlooms in this room. This trunk um, was my husband's granddaddy's military trunk that we built a base for and use as a coffee table in here. Um, these leather wingback chairs are some of our favorites and they're also Facebook Marketplace finds. And this back here, our desk, um, used to be a piano and it belonged to Rich's mom. But a lot of the keys had stopped working, uh, so nobody really played it very much. And we needed desk space, and we're running out of room um, to keep the piano in the house, but we didn't want to part with it. So we recently took the pieces out of it, and now it is our desk. It's a good conversation piece. These are art art book pages from the 1930s of all the trees and the wood this national register is from a candy shop 1905 that has just been added to the office this week and um, we'll be using that at shows but for now it is sitting there the sales office sign is one of my favorite pieces got it at a local vintage shop and just like to keep uh, lots of family pieces and pieces that just have meaning to us around our house. We've got pictures of our family here in the hallway that we had done. Um, my grandma's old mirror I turned into a chalkboard and the kids like to draw on that. And that is our home office. Back down this hallway is the front door and our pantry is off to the left. A closet where we keep uh, the kids shoes and other miscellaneous things around the house in is there and then the other door goes to the garage. Um, Originally, the pantry had the bifold doors, and so when the closets on both sides of the hallway were open, it was really hard to get through. So my husband built this pantry door out of wood from a friend's barn and the metal from the roof. Um, he helped tear it down and he repurposed the pieces into our pantry door. And here's a look inside our pantry. It's not the most organized anymore, but we did this about a year ago and we have been able to keep it fairly organized. Um, my husband and I designed it and he built out the shelves. We tried to fill it with uh, vintage crates. We have a vintage enamelware trays for produce which are empty at the moment and then I drew uh, faux shiplap lines with sharpie in there and it just really gave it that fun farmhouse look um, without all of the extra work of cutting wood and doing real shiplap. Thank you for joining me for my home tour. I hope you found something inspiring. Hey y'all, 
it's Stacy Eli with Eli Haven Cottage. Welcome to our little cozy cottage, our, our place that we call home, home sweet home. We bought this, uh, we purchased this uh, sweet home uh, back in 2019, 2020, I, I can't remember. I've slept since. However, um, we've loved it here. We've added on. Uh, things here and there such as this white picket fence um, a buddy of my husband's uh, at the fire station him and his crew did this uh, white picket fence for us I've always dreamed of a white picket fence home and and we we got it Now you'll see that uh, I do have a green thumb. I love plants. I love perennials. I don't waste my time too much on annuals. Um, we definitely invest into perennials. We do love us some antiques, vintage. Uh, so you will see that throughout the house. We are in spring season and we're definitely in, um, in full bloom. We're still waiting for some to bloom, but uh, meanwhile, we, they are, they're doing a phenomenal job showing their character through, as you can see. I am waiting for my hydrangeas actually to start blooming on my left. This is where we um, pull away, whether if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, we, we try to make a point to sit out on the porch early in the morning when uh, the birds are singing, which is my favorite, uh, or um, to wrap up the night with the, you bet, with an ice cold glass of tea. Now we get um, quite a few uh, comments, uh, compliments on our bunnies from Wayfair. Um, those were an excellent purchase and I'm so glad we did. Uh, and they were perfect for spring, uh, also too for Easter. And, and so I just think they're, they're adorable. Our rocking chairs are from Cracker Barrel They've done us well. Our door is an antique door that the builders installed. This is where we relax, kick our feet up. All right, many questions on those awnings and those are from Antique Farmhouse. All right, let's take our tour. You will see throughout the house, the floors are concrete. The builders, um, did uh, us great benefit with the Texas heat. <laughs> and we all know that, um, or some of us may know how hot it gets here. And, and with the floors being concrete, um, goodness, it does us great benefit. That church column on your left is a purchase from Vintage uh, Vibes in Mansfield, Texas. Our fireplace mantle, uh, mantle is a great piece that actually is um, replenished wood from the state capital of Austin, state capital in Austin. It 
this uh, little corner, this nook is where mainly our girls like to cuddle up in and get themselves a book or maybe they're electronic if I allow them to and they they sit in there and, and just rest and relax. This is a piece from the Findry in Waco, Texas, which has a hidden teal. It's uh, probably one of our favorite pieces in the whole entire house. We use that to store the girls' um, paperwork, any uh, anything important regarding the girls, we store that in there. We take advantage of this great room um, to just sit down, relax, and when we have company over, it allows us just to uh, forget about the TV and just uh, have conversations and catch up and just enjoy each other. I really enjoy the fact that we do not have a TV in this space. Um, I think it would um, pull the purpose greatly. Our moral clock gets quite a bit of attention and that's a purchase from Decor Stills. On most cases, uh, these windows actually um, give us so much light. Uh, in most cases, you can see that we don't have, um, we don't have to turn on the lights here. These core bells that you'll see above um, are actually a, uh, they're from a local historical home here in Midlothian, Texas. So our home is very cozy, so we've had to uh, kind of improvise as far as a mudroom. And this right here, um, there's a door on your right that you see. And that's from our garage, and, and this is where we unload, put our shoes away, hang up our backpacks. Now this is our half bathroom. Our home is four bedrooms, three and a half baths. This restroom is, um, it's a little tight. However, <laughs> it serves its purpose. Um, we're actually currently in the process of uh, right in front of you, the uh, behind the mirror, we want to add a, a really a unique wallpaper, a stick and pill right there. I think it would make this uh, restroom pop. That should be happening very, very soon. All right. So our kitchen, um, as you can see, again, the floors, the whole entire bottom floor, first floor is concrete. This is where we whip up some good Texas food, some good country food. Now I love uh, the former owners of uh, our little cottage um, uh, place these adorable pull knobs, crystal pull knobs on the uh, cabinetry. And I think they're so cute. I think it's so fitting. And of course my favorite picture, right above the stove. Often reminds me of how grateful we need to be. That is our pantry, where we hide all the goodies, and our floors. Right where the bar stools are, our extra storage, which is phenomenal. We actually store all the um, girls' um, craft activities there, so it gives them easy access uh, to be able to complete their projects or whatever is necessary right there on the island. 
very convenient. I do a lot of my florals uh, from Pin It. And here is our antique dining set, uh, which actually has a third leaf. Seats eight. That right there on the wall on your left is a chicken coop gate. So we got a little creative with that. I am from La Mesa, Texas. If you've heard of La Mesa, Texas, um, cotton is very uh, big out there. And so that's why you see that right there. Reminds me of home. Now our coffee bar uh, actually was a Facebook market find, uh, I believe for like 20 bucks and we painted it and dressed it up. Now here is our master bedroom. The frames above the headboard is actually um, was actually done by the former owner. Um, and when we had toured the house, uh, I had asked her about it and, and I told her we would pay her for it uh, just to leave as is because I thought it was gorgeous. And she said, no, we're going to bless y'all with it. We'll, we'll leave it. So I'm extremely grateful for that. Our nightstands are antiques. Our bedding is from Antique Farmhouse, as well as the bed skirt, bed scarf. Now you will see um, my little seating area that is right behind the door. I have it there uh, purposely. So we do have a four month old and that's where me and her are able to bond uh, behind the door so nobody runs in and, and is able to see us. we were able to have some some privacy right there and and be able to enjoy each other we often were back and forth about a TV in our bedroom um, we weren't for it uh, but uh, it was either watch TV in our bedroom or walk upstairs after having the baby and or being nine months pregnant and just made it a little bit more convenient to go ahead and put a TV in our bedroom and not have to uh, walk up the stairs and this right here is our uh, restroom we did paint uh, the cabinets in here. Uh, meadow green is what it's called from Bear. Initially they were all white. That light fixture is an Amazon purchase. And you will see our garden tub with our, our little butter beans tub in there. That's life.
those frames. Uh, picture frames are also uh, a purchase from Antique Farmhouse. And we really enjoy the fact that our um, shower is quite large, uh, which we can which the girls actually enjoy um, both taking showers in there and we allow them to have fun, be kids. Now up to the second floor. We've often thought about putting carpet or some type of um, stylish uh, runner on our stairs, um, and I'm sure we would we will do that in the future. But as of now, we are enjoying the natural look of the stairs. This is our cozy landing. This is where us as a family um, just get cozied up and relax on the couch and often times fall asleep uh, because we're having a family night, uh, watching a movie, pickles and popcorn and just relaxing our and enjoying our evening together. I will um, say that floor pillows are the best, especially if you have kiddos. That door right there in front of you is a antique door that was installed and which leads to my husband's office. This is a really cool uh, and Another one of our favorite pieces that we have uh, found in Duncanville, Texas, a antique uh, army chest. Uh, and what's really cool is that there's the transport stickers on there uh, from many moons ago. And I just think it's a really cool piece. So we use that as a um, quote unquote, a coffee table. Once again, that antique door. Meanwhile, we're trying to figure out a way to replace that light fixture. Uh, sooner or later, that will happen. Now, this is where kids can be kids. We have three girls. We have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old and a infant. And this is where we can just allow them just to relax, have fun, um, watch a movie, uh, have their own little space. It's nothing fancy. Uh, we've learned that having kids, uh, things will get marked on, things will get dirty, things will get messy. And it does not have to be fancy. Um, just a simple place where they can be comfortable and it's kid friendly uh, and child proof. So we have kept this space um, quite simple from learning experiences. Now we are walking into our guest bedroom. Our family, um, whoever stays over on most cases, it's family. Uh, they, we, we love us some coffee, so we definitely uh, needed a coffee bar in here. Where they can sit, relax. And enjoy their favorite cup of brew. That piece on the wall, um, the yarn, uh, 
centerpiece that right there is actually a pro uh, an item that was made by a sweet friend of mine and um i just i love it i it's carried on um over the years with us uh in the moving process and i knew i had to have it here in the guest bedroom i just think it um is the cherry on top and it features itself well in here All right, so from the guest bedroom, here is the guest uh, bathroom, a full bathroom uh, that they have all to themselves. A really cool feature in this bathroom is the floors, and I will show you here shortly. I think the far favorite part of, of this restroom is the floors for me. This piece is a antique that I had found in Alabama. A church, I just think it's so cute. Now we are stepping into um, our girls' uh, bedroom. Now, they are inseparable. They are attached to the hip. <laughs> and we cannot get them to separate. So they, they choose uh, to want to room together, to stay together. They sleep together. Uh, and and they're, they're sisters. Uh, and that's the way it should be. And so um, they they just love rooming together. And, and they're still a little itty-bitty. Uh, so they, uh, meanwhile, this uh, queen size uh, does still fit them until they decide to separate and, and move their separate ways and, and, and we'll figure out a plan in the future when the time comes. Their bedding is from Antique Farmhouse. Their wall flowers, uh, metal flowers, is from Antique Farmhouse as well. They also uh, have a full bathroom shower um, right there on the right. And their bed frame is a passed down um, antique uh, piece from my mother. We've kept it simple in their room um, because they do have their playroom is where they keep all their toys and, and fun stuff. One day we'll change that light fixture. Well, and that's a wrap. That's the Eli Haven Cottage. I hope you enjoyed it. We are big fans of antiques, of all the vintage, all the old and chippy stuff. We really enjoy living here. It's cozy, it's small, uh, and it's just fitting and perfect for us as a family. And we're building many memories here. I want to say thank you to Holly with Living It Country. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed.
With much love, Stacy Eli. Take care. Hello and welcome. My name is Kimberly Claire and I would love to welcome you to our home today. I am known on Instagram as Shabby Chic Girl KC and I would love to show you our home. We built it new 20 years ago and built it in a Victorian plantation style to kind of make it timeless. As you can see, our porch is true plantation style with lots of room for entertaining and just relaxing outside. We are fortunate to be surrounded with about an acre of woods, so we have lots of nice cool breezes and just general enjoyment of being outside. So, I invite you to come inside with me now into our entry hall. We had our hardwood floors redone a couple years ago to be a whitewash or just white stain, so they are nice and white and fresh. In here is also some of my favorite architecture pieces. I do love finding old vintage pieces and kind of putting them together in different places. And one of my favorite colors, of course, is pink, so I do try and sneak that in a little bit here and there as well, just so not overbearing though. This is our family or living room area or library and it is a good place to come and just relax, read a book and enjoy a cup of tea. This vintage carriage is a couple hundred years old actually and is called the Haywood Sleeper Company. It was used in Victorian era and um, they used it a lot in like movies and things like that but I was very excited when I found this many years ago in a antique store and currently inside of the carriage are some dried roses that I received from my husband when we celebrated our 25th anniversary in Paris with our family and yes I brought them all the way back from Paris <laughs> to have forever in my home. Um, our dining room space we have this beautiful pottery barn table that we bought when the house was new. We felt like it was a good investment at the time and buying a good dining table is always a good investment because it's something you definitely will have forever. I also, one of my favorite little decor hacks is obviously we have the porch outside, is that I have wreaths outside and I also have them inside and so you just buy the same size wreath and you put them on either side and then you aren't looking at the back of the wreath on either side of the window, which is kind of a fun thing. Also, we have this really beautiful flower box here that my dad and I recently made together. I was wanting a centerpiece for the table that didn't feel overwhelming but still definitely made an impact because it is such a large table and luckily I have a very handy dad who helped me make that. So I'll take you into my kitchen here. First thing you'll see are these beautiful old doors that I've put on my pantry. They were actually a find from an antique store not too terribly long ago and um, they just happened to be the absolute right size, which was very, very fortunate. And you can see our kitchen here. I have a lot of my favorite dishes that I use every day, which is my Green Gate dishes. They are just lovely, and I love all the different shades of pink and flowers and everything. Very, very lovely. But you can see our kitchen opens up into our breakfast room. We have lots and lots of windows, lots and lots of natural light. I most days don't even ever have to have any lights on during the day because it is so bright and sunny in our home, which is which is very, very nice. So you can see our dining area here and I will take you back so you can see our kitchen area too. I have a little shadow following me. <laughs> This is Tinkerbell, otherwise known as Bella Girl Ballerina on Instagram. If you want to follow her, you will see her daily dose of cuteness as well. So there is our beautiful white kitchen we had restored probably about five years ago. So um, very happy with how that turned out as well. 
over here, we have our conservatory, which is kind of like an all seasons room. When we first moved in, we thought we were gonna put a deck on the back of the house and then decided that we would put this room instead and have all these beautiful Pella windows and um, definitely something we use all year long. It has a heated floor and then it still is cool in the summer as well. For a long time, we used it as a like our breakfast room when our girls were living here and growing up. Um, but now we've converted it just into kind of a, a cozy little sitting space, which is really nice. Looking into our family room here, you can see there's Tinkerbell's dog TP and um, our family room gathering space. We've had a lot of family gatherings in here. My girls used to play in here all the time when they were younger. And um, it's just a good, good size room, not oversized, but just kind of the right size for gathering. Um, I have a lot of blue and white throughout the home, also with little touches of pink, like I said before. One of my favorite things to do to bring in seasonal touches is pillow covers. And I say covers because then you don't have to have a whole closet full of pillows. You just find a pillow that's 18 by 18 and you just keep buying seasonal covers. Right now I have these cute little birds on here that are just perfect for spring. So our family room area, and we'll kind of shift back. We have this large cabinet that we had custom made years ago so that we could put our TV in there because I, I don't like looking at TVs, so we have to cover them all up. Luckily, my husband is a good sport about that. <laughs> um, I have this beautiful vintage French desk that I found many years ago painted exactly this way. So that was another amazing, happy find many years ago. Um, another thing that I love is this blue door was one of the very first um, architectural pieces that I found many years ago and um, that kind of spurred me to finding more and more pieces like that. But I love taking things that are old and just kind of giving them new life but loving them as they are. I will take you here and show you our little half bath here. This is one of my favorite places to just kind of bring in little seasonal touches. I leave the little step stool in there. Um, super chippy, love it. Just bring in different touches right now. Of course, it's decorated for spring, but it had um, even more Easter bunnies and things on it a little bit ago, but I bring in pumpkins and Christmas trees and just whatever to make it seasonally appropriate. But it's a, it's a fun place to do decor touches. I'll take you here. We have two staircases that go upstairs. This is our back staircase. Um, we also have our main staircase. And then this is our mudroom, and I'm gonna step over here so you can get a look here at our cubbies that we had built in here. When we first moved into the home, our children were all very young, and so we had a space for everybody to have, to put their shoes, school bags, dance bags, everything, so that was really, really, really nice. Um, we also have a cute little door here so that our kitty can go in and use her box and get her food. Of course, we didn't know that we were gonna have such a tiny dog who actually could fit in there too, but Tinkerbell's a good girl and she doesn't go in and mess with Jane's food. So, um, just the rest of our laundry room over here. I put some cute decals on the front of our washer and dryer just to kind of make it a little bit more decorative. Um, and then into our master bedroom, which has lots of light and space, a good place to unwind at the end of the day or wake up to in the morning. Again, we're surrounded by trees, so we have a lot of privacy and no one behind us for, goodness, a couple acres. So we're very, very fortunate to be so surrounded. You can see our beautiful <laughs> Kitty Jane is sitting up on the bed, um, enjoying our beautiful linens that we have on there. And everything, like I said, has been very kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We have never shied away from the girls having friends over or anything. We just feel like our home is meant to be lived in. And um, that's the great thing about distressed furniture and shabby chic is that it's something that if it gets another scratch on it, it just adds to the overall charm of what you have. So again, our bedroom and our faux shiplap or faux barn siding wall that um, my husband and I did which is some wallpaper that we found that looked really cool and into our master bathroom that has our little slipper tub in it very very sweet I definitely wanted a special place for that before we moved in and like I said then our just our our vanities there but not too terribly exciting but 
at any rate, um, I appreciate you joining me on our tour today, and I hope that you've enjoyed everything you've seen. If you are interested in seeing more, please follow me at Shabby Chic Girl KC. And if you're interested in seeing more of Tinkerbell, feel free to follow her at Bella Girl Ballerina. And thank you so much for spending your day. Now, if you enjoyed today's home tours, you guys are going to love this video right here. Go ahead and click it and I will see you guys in that tour.